Hello guys, today I will show you how we can set up and run different programming and web designing languages in Visual Studio Code. So let's start. Okay, open your browser, search Visual Studio Code, click enter. After this, you will see Visual Studio Code website. Click on download. After clicking on download, you will see different options if you are window user you can click on this if you are linux user, you can choose between these and if you are mac user then you can click on this but uh, i am window user so let's click on windows after this your download will automatically restart now select the area where you want to download it and click download Okay, after download complete, open, open the Visual Studio Code setup. Select agree and click next, next, install it. Please subscribe to our channel if you haven't yet so we can make more videos like this now click finish and let's launch our visual studio code so this is the welcome screen that you will see after installing the visual studio code here you can start from a new project or creating new folder and if you have already opened your projects so you will see there and this is a customization of visual studio code like if you want to change the color theme click on this and you can select any of these themes i like dark theme so i have selected dark theme now first thing first go to extensions here a lot of extensions you will see it depends on which programming language or web designing language you are using so this is this these extensions are help you to make easier to code for you like if you code something in a html so it will give you a suggestion and it will automatically add in co in tags and etc like uh, in recommended they will show you the recommended tags please make sure you install these and uh, these i have already installed this if you are, want to html you are going through web web designing so make sure you install html snip extension so it will make easier for you to code now let's create our first uh, workspace folder where we will work so add workspace folder now in this we will create a new one here on at desktop so select on new folder give it a new project click add and again so our folder is added so go to explorer and there you will see our folder is added to our virtual studio code so now if you want to add uh, different uh, programming languages files so let's create a new file so if you want to give a name if you want to create a file of html so first we have to give a name to this file like uh, name it uh, new then if you want to give a name html extension so you know that html extension is html so click dot and then write html so if when we write html so you can see the icon changes to html icon and also you can write html to htm it's also the extension of html so as you can see our html file is created now in this area you can write and uh, write and run your html 
uh, HTML code. So let's another create another file of pro, pro language. So create a new file. Create a, like if we create, want to create a CSS. So give it a name new dot extension. So CSS extension is simply CSS. So we get a CSS. So when click enter. So you can see our CSS file is created. Now same goes to programming languages. Like if we want to create a Python file. So give it a new and the Python extension is py. So dot we will write dot py. So as you can see the icon is changes to Python icon and it's become the Python file. So same goes for all programming languages C++ like C++ dot C++ extension is CPP. So as you can see our C++ file is created. So in this you can create different files and you can click on this and you can open any of this file and you can change also this to you can split the workspace of uh, Visual Studio Code. Now, if we want to run our application, so uh, if we want to run our code, so let's write code in HTML. So we will uh, write a basic code. I will simply give a heading heading one as you can see there are a lot of options so these options came when you install extension of HTML so you will see these options which will make your code easier so so let's write HTML web designing so as we write it this so uh, click ctrl s to save this file now after this go to terminal in terminal you will see different options so click on run active file so when you click on active file it will be running and as you can see in an instant of time the web uh, browser is open and the web page which we have simple created is here so as same way you can code in any language and you can run it by the way that i've showed and that's it for today if you have learned from this video please subscribe to our channel and don't forget to like see you in the next video goodbye